In 17th sloka, Lord Krishna says, you must understand the nature of all the three. Recommended action, then prohibited action or forbidden action and inaction. Action, karma. Prohibited action, vikarma. Inaction, akarma. So when you say action, karma, that is recommended by scriptures. It purifies mind and all your senses are under control. Then forbidden actions, they are not, they are prohibited. Certain actions are prohibited and they degrade the soul. If you do that, they degrade the soul. Then next, inactions. Inactions, akarma. Uh, they, when we do inaction, when we, when we are in inactions or when we do akarma, we don't have the karmic reactions because we do the actions without getting attached to that. And we don't have the feeling that I am the doer. And I am not expecting any results from it. So, that is a karma. That is inactions. So, all these three concepts are explained by God here. So, karma that is auspicious actions recommended by the scriptures for regulating the senses and purifying the mind. So only God knows. And Bhagavan knows all this uh, karma and is teaching here. The next, vikarma. Vikarma, we are, when we do action, we should involve body, mind and intellect. Only then that turn to be true one. Otherwise, it is fake. So what happens? That action is not correct. So that is forbidden actions. Then inaction, that is a karma. When we do action, we have already discussed the sunlight. Sun gives light, but it does not expect anything from other things. Giving light to human beings, all living creatures, and we make solar energy, and there are so many benefits from that. But sun keeps doing it. It is not get, it is not expecting anything. Even um, I mean, even if it is not getting back anything, it keeps doing his karma. So this is how we have to do. And that is recommended by Lord Krishna. So when you are doing any karma without any expectation, that is inaction, that is a karma, we should do like that. So here we have already seen the examples like how the mother uh, mother and child, the relationship between mother and child, how Rama looked at the Vanaras when they were wounded very badly in the war. So the, our actions should turn to be inactions. That is the way we should do it. So the forbidden action, inauspicious actions, prohibited by the scriptures, since they are detrimental and result in degradation of soul. Why this happened? Because we are not involving our mind and mind, uh, body and intellect. That is that, that's an external action. So we are not we are we are not involving our mind and intellect. We are doing just like that. So what happens? That action is not giving good result. So it is vikarma. Then in action we find that they are performed without attachment. That this is what we have learnt in karma yoga. So the the main the principles of karma yoga are applied. When you do your swadharma that is your karma, then it turns to be inaction, that is a, a, a karma. And you are doing it for the pleasure of God. So they neither have karmic reactions nor do they entangle soul. So God makes, makes it very clear what are the actions, different types of actions, how they have to be performed. And uh, how, how, how should be our relationship to nature? It, we should we should do any action to towards nature with selfless motive. If we are selfish, then we will get only negative results. And prakriti is to be handled in, in yajna spirit with the with the yajna spirit. It should be sacrifice spirit. What goes around? comes around. So, whatever we do, whatever uh, act, reactions it has, those reactions will come back to us. So, that is why we are, we are 
making that baggage heavily and keep getting the births again and again and again because every karma has got its reactions so the nature is like a mirror so what you do you can see that what you sow you are harvesting that so you should know what type of karma to be done how the karma to be performed you have to use viveka you should know that discriminatory power what is good what is right so that is what discriminatory power and apply only what is good so what actions are perfect that is why bhagwan taught us perfect actions and imperfect actions and do perfect actions in the spirit of yagna so whatever action you do you should help others so your your thoughts have to be unselfish when your thoughts are unselfish naturally your actions are unselfish so you are when you are doing all this with unselfish motive naturally what happens all the karma vasanas are driven out you are reducing the karma vasana so your baggage is reduced so you are, you, you realize the atma so atma on its own is very it is self illumined so it has got that knowledge so you realize that knowledge when you realize your atma so it is like gold is converted into chains and uh, bangles necklaces rings but the quality of the ornaments is the same as gold it, it, it is good that is the nature of gold so even if you are converting it different articles but the basic quality of it that metal remains the same so our atma atma we do so many actions but keep your you realize your atma and retain the natural quality of atma because that gives knowledge to you so that gives light to you so you realize that so to realize that we should be aware of what karmas we are doing so these three shlokas help us to realize the karmas what we have to do perfect karma and imperfect karma and here you have got, uh, um, the scholars the uh, elders say the vikarma even something happens in your uh, neighbor's house they need help just visit them and seeing them is not enough that is he says you are not only helping you are doing vikarma that when you are helpless position that is you are, you you have no thoughts to help them that is vikarma you are not ready to help them we are living in the the present situation is horrible so we need to help others and each one of us should help each other to come out of this calamity and everyone needs somebody's help so whatever we can do in in our own capacity we can help each other so let us not do this vikarma just watching them and why where are they going is they affected by corona oh, then we we talk about them and keep them away then not including them in the society so all this are vikarma so don't do that so this uh, uh, situations are giving us teaching us lessons so here god says that abhikarma even uh, the in duryodhana's court what happened to draupadi was witnessed by bhishma dronachar and all those elder people and that was vikarma they didn't do anything they didn't come forward to stop it they, they were witnesses for that to, to be just witness is also a vikarma so let's be let's our actions be akarma let's do that so here in one of the pasurams namalva says vinaival irul ennum munaigal veruvippom sunainal malarittu ninaimin nediyane so he says here whatever sins we have done in our previous births and in, in this birth or removed by shriman narayana if we surrender ourselves to him to his book, a lotus feet so he is the only one who can remove all that and whatever karmas we have done that create both sorrow and joy that that is good and bad so and they keep making our births more and more so that it is not um, helping us to reduce 
because every karma is added and let us not let us not prefer that let us not have both joy or sorrow we don't want both and what to do for that surrender to him he is the only one who can uh, rescue us from this so go to surrender yourself to his lotus feet that is the only marga we can get out of this cycle of birth and death